Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. It's Sarah, and I've lost track of what number day of quarantine we're on, but uh, I thought I'd bring you a little bit of a COVID video update. And don't worry, I can touch my face. I've been washing my hands. It's safe. Um, my cousin Susie posted on her Facebook wall about wanting to see some of our fun funny faces or maybe a short video tour of our apartment or house and I thought that I would uh, bring you guys a little bit of a, a video update using snap cameras, snapchat filters that can let you update your camera. So here are some of my funny faces and uh, a little bit of a status update summary. Uh, I'm here to report that I'm happy and healthy as much as one can reasonably be under the circumstances and um, quick work update uh, one of my work teammates proposed meeting up in virtual reality the other day and with the shelter in place rules it was a really fun way for us to connect with each other for a little while since a lot of us have access to vr headsets i highly recommend it you don't have to be a hacker or a an aficionado or like a, a really big VR enthusiast then uh, you might find yourself with a Valve Index or one of the other VR headsets so that's a great way to pass the time and uh, I've been doing well at work lately my job can be done remotely because I'm a software engineer so uh, I can be in the matrix pretty much anytime <laughs> and let's see bad news I uh, I sadly had to bow out of recording video presentations for the Game Developers Conference of 2020 this year. Uh, the organizers uh, had accelerated the timing to get videos out the week um, before GDC was supposed to happen, so my co-presenter um, did not have time to travel to Redmond. Uh, but there is some good news, however. Uh, I was able to continue to uh, uh, present my um, present what I've been working on at the uh, at the Microsoft Most Valuable Professional MVP Global Summit of 2020. These organizers actually recorded all of their talks and um, some of those uh, are available internally to Microsoft employees. So, so there is a recording of my latest delivery of HoloLens Unity build pipelines on Azure DevOps. Um, but I believe that the link might be internal to Microsoft employees only. There was a really good turnout of about uh, 30 to 40 people overall, so I was quite happy with those results. Uh, that was a couple of weeks ago now. I even got a tweet or two about how well I did, so that was fun. I am still self-quarantining. I am keeping up with work. Uh, I've been doing some occasional house cleanup to, you know, keep the COVID-19 at bay. And so far, I don't have any symptoms of anything like that. I, I had a headache and a stomach ache earlier this week that kind of made it really hard to get any work done, but I'm feeling much better now. And I'm keeping, keeping my fingers crossed that uh, with the good hand washing and good hygiene, I won't come down with any symptoms. So fingers crossed that it stays that way. Uh, I'm not even going to bother asking how everybody else is doing out there because um, uh, I know that the answer is not good so we're just gonna skip that one but i'm enjoying playing with this snap camera feature there's some really silly ones in here <laughs> it's fun to play around with if you haven't seen it i recommend it uh, i know that a lot of us are starting to go a little bit stir crazy get some cabin fever but hang in there make sure you drink a lot of water um, make yourself some microwave pizzas and keep on eating well maybe eat something a little healthier than a microwave pizza but uh well the truth of the matter is um i know that a lot of us are mourning the loss of something that we were really looking forward to this spring and this summer uh, i have some close personal friends who are mourning the loss of a wedding ceremony that they're not going to be able to host and they've already put the deposits down and a lot of people are out a lot of money for vacations that they didn't get to take family reunions that are still up in the air i know a lot of us are missing out on music concerts and so be gentle with yourselves and do the best you can, um, but please allow yourself to mourn for the loss of those things. 
Um, you don't have to put on a happy face all the time. It is important to allow yourself to grieve and mourn and come to, to terms with the fact that yes, a lot of us are experiencing loss and it sucks. I'm not going to uh, put on a happy face and pretend that I'm having a fun staycation at home and everything is awesome. Um, no, um, there there are things happening that I don't want to celebrate. So um, I think it is important that we take a second to just let ourselves feel, let ourselves grieve. And um, uh, for example, um, I'm 29 now and in August I'm going to be turning 30 and I was really looking forward to having some new feathers in my cap with regards to being a speaker at GDC as well as the MVP Global Summit and um, delivering my HoloLens Unity build projects that I came up with uh, with my coworkers. Uh, a lot of that sort of got stripped away and those are just some small losses compared to with what everyone else has had but I know it's not wise to compare ourselves to other people so everyone's losses are different everyone has to handle this in their own way something like missing a graduation ceremony or not being able to celebrate a big milestone birthday the way you wanted to it's a pretty painful experience and i know a lot of us are going through it but that's enough of a serious note uh, we can get back to uh microwaving our pizzas and doing the best with what we've got. Sorry for the abrupt audio change, but there was a screaming baby outside from the neighbors. And if any family members are wondering if I'm planning on having kids, you can mark me down as hopefully never. I don't want to be rude, but let's just say that this whole thing has been an eye-opening experience. Anyway, Snap Camera has been very enjoyable as a entertainment venue, and thanks again to Cousin Susie for um, encouraging me to make this video update. It's been a fun way to pass the time. Snap Camera is actually pretty easy to incorporate into Microsoft Teams, so if any of my coworkers are watching this, all you have to do is go to snapcamera.snapchat.com, download it for PC or Mac, and um, set your web camera to be the Snap Camera instead of your integrated camera, and it might make those early morning meetings a little bit more entertaining. And the best part is you don't even have to download the Snapchat app on your phone for it to work. Shout out to Jackie Martinez on Facebook for sharing her Zoom backgrounds and having this be one of them. This has been very entertaining. My computer is running Folding at Home, which is a program that helps lend computing power to scientists who are performing molecular dynamic simulations of protein dynamics. And so I'm hoping that that helps make a small contribution to the coronavirus model going public, getting those protein foldings figured out. And you can download Folding at Home too if you've got a computer. It's a great way to help contribute to the cause from your home. Keep on doing the best you can and uh, I'm rooting for all of you. And uh, please be kind in the comments because I know that a lot of us are stressed out and under a lot of pressure and I hope that everyone out there will please be well and stay safe. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. This has been a COVID video. This has been a COVID video. This has been a COVID video. A is is this thing on? Is this thing on?